Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to whatever the fuck this is. Uh, I've, de I, we've all, I've decided, and I've convinced them, to uh, start a podcast, and I believe this will be the first episode. This is the ADHD podcast, because we really... Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to whatever the fuck this is. Uh, I've, de I, we've all, I've decided, and I've convinced them... To uh, start a podcast, and I believe this will be the first episode. This is the ADHD podcast because we really don't know what the hell we're going to be doing anytime <coughs> we do this. I decided. Get the hell away from them, chocolate. Sorry. Okay. So I'm going to start with the premise of today. Um, every podcast, we're going to start with one person going to be the host, and the other two are going to be. Uh, quote unquote contestants. I actually got this idea from the Distractable podcast, which does the same thing in a sense. Sit. But I I figured we do it our own way. So if you're wondering who we're talking to, we're talking to Lily. She's oh yeah. Oh and uh, joining us right oh, now. Oh yeah. And for context, for those who do not know who we are, if you're new, Yogi. for context of who we are, we are who we are. I'm Derek, and this is Aurora, and this is Jacob. What's up, fools? And so, in today's podcast, I am the host, and let's see, where, where was I getting at with this? So, every podcast, we're, as the host, gets to pick the topic, and it's going to be, we're going to basically, uh, the host gets to decide who will be the winner and the next host of the podcast, depending on how they deem, deem that be possible. For my, t my mind, because this is the first one that I couldn't think of a topic at the time, I figured we'd we play a game of cars you see. I told you this would happen. <laughs> I told you this would happen. Lily. Well, you can cut that part out since you're just pre-recording. Oh, no, you? I can't cut that part out. Why? I don't have the means. <laughs> There's probably something in there that can cut that out. Maybe. I'll, I'll, I'll probably test that out later. Get away from the Oreos. Mm. Anyway... So, I'm, I decided to play a game of Cards Against Humanity with a slight twist. So, um, hold on. Give us one. Technical minute, difficulties. Please. Anyway, in this game of Cards Against Humanity, the card czar is not going to be switched around. I will be the sole card czar throughout the game. Meaning, both Aurora and Jacob will be, you know, playing. <laughs> Shoes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm. We're eating Oreos, by the way. <laughs> so. I'm sorry, it's making me laugh. Uh, but anyway, I basically, the audio waves. Uh, basically, uh, Aurora and Jacob will be competing against each other to be the host of the next podcast and deciding the next topic. Why did you jump? Mine's gonna be stitching, bitching. We're gonna be crocheting and talking shit if I win. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm going to teach you guys now, how to crochet. Now, of course, points will be distributed <laughs> in, in this game. In, in the normal game of Cards of Humanity, the winning car, the winning person who wins the match gets the card of, of whichever I read from. But there's going to be some additional rules to this. I have these little point chips, which I will be distributing one between one and three points, depending on how their reasoning of their choice of the card. Oh, yeah. Did you get a little one for you? No, I have not. She loved the panda cookies. Yeah, I was letting her eat her panda cookies. Give her some Oreos, too. We'll, we'll give her some Oreos later. There's plenty here. But there won't be after I'm done with them. Okay, fat ass. <laughs> I know what I am. <laughs> you married this. <laughs> anyway. You should have known from the start. I'm trying, I'm trying to explain the rules here. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, the additional points will be given out through these little chips. And I'll be giving chips based on how well they're, how funny or depending on how, depending on their reasoning of behind their, behind their choice of that card. For example, if it's just a throwaway card, they don't get any points. But uh, depending on how, if they can give me a valid reason of why they get, chose that card or, and why, and, and depending on how funny or how interesting their reasoning is, I'll give them between one and three points. Meaning, if someone does win the game, they could still lose based on how many points, additional bonus points they get. 
You've lost me at this point. I hope you know I'm not very <laughs> we'll, good we'll at We'll know following. as soon as we go. Yeah, so, as soon so as we I kinda start. Go. So basically, these points plus these points it determines who wins the entire thing. Oreos. So... Me and Jacob are going to fuck up these Oreos. There ain't going to be left for anyone. I'm warning you. Uh, I'm going to grab me some while I can. Yeah, you, you probably should. You should probably give Sophie some too while you still can because we're going to eat them uh, all. One thing I like to, I okay. would like to do is to start with a small talk at the beginning of each podcast. Yeah, like how we're going to fuck up these Oreos. Yeah, I'm going to go bring Sophie. Okay, so-, <laughs> so, starting with Aurora, which, uh, what would you like to bring into the table? Like right now? Yeah. I don't know what to talk about right now. Well, this is the first podcast. It can be anything. Well, one thing I want to talk about is like work shit, but I don't want to talk about work shit because I don't want work shit to be put online. So, I guess we could talk about world shit. Yeah, because that's the second thing that's on my mind right now is world shit. I world got murder. World on War Three. Yeah. World War Three. Uh, oh, we my were- Oreos. <laughs> Now, the, the running topic seems to be these fucking Oreos. Yeah. There's still one on the ground. Two. I'm still going to eat them. I know you will. Oh, God. So, anyway. Uh, so, James, you got anything to bring to the table? Well, running back to the whole military theme thing. You were trying on your uniform earlier today, your old uh, uniform. And he yeah. keeps calling himself fat now because he can't fit it. I can't, Jacob. I can't fit he the pants. He got his dad bod going on. I can't fit the pants. I nearly bust the buttons in the jacket. <laughs> he got his dad pouch going on. Which that reminds me, I also got to get my uh, new jeans because all mine are fucking... <laughs> I've gotten too fat, too, ever since I lived with my dad. Why am I the one who stayed this... I've stayed... Guys, if you don't know this, I actually haven't talked about it that much. I've actually lost a lot of weight, and I've stayed consistently around the same weight for an entire year now i used to be like 230 pounds i i now keep fluctuating between 189 and 195 but i've been there consistently for an entire year and i'm very happy about myself although me i just keep getting fatter I used to wear like a size 3X. I'm now down to like a large. Oh yeah, guys, context. I am actually only 150 something pounds. And you're getting your dad pooch and you're losing your muscle. Last time I checked, I was 187. Yeah. Um, oh boy. Uh, too bad you guys can't see what we look like. Uh, although if you probably I fall. still got a big ass gut though, but that's from like having a child and shit. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I guess we should probably get into the game now. So, we've probably been talking for about 15, maybe 20 minutes now. That's what we do. Yeah. It's ADHD brain. See, we didn't even talk about the world topic. Our ADHD brains went straight to a well, different this thing. is the ADHD podcast, so... If you guys are wondering, everyone sitting here has ADHD. Yeah, that's kind of why I chose the name. So, I guess the first round... Mama Mia, here I go again. My, my, how can I resist blank? <laughs> of course, Rando, by the way, will be played. I have a lot of really good ones. So I'm going to cover my eyes so I can't can I, see who can I read what. It? And if anyone wants to know what that random sound was, that was the TV. Do I grab, do I grab more? You, you do grab an additional card, okay. yes. I, I, I have a lot of really good cards. These new cards against humani- humanity cards for this generation yeah. are this fucking is, hilarious. This is the 2022 updated one. I'm going to so. miss the Gibby card. They should have gotten rid of Gibby's the Gibby. probably is still in still, there. I Gibby's still so. relevant. Gibby's still relevant. Uh, Gibby! <laughs> uh, okay. All right. All right, let's see what he chooses. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to read it out based on the actual rules of cards you have, Mandy, because you're actually supposed to read out as each one card goes. So, Mama Mia, here I go again. My, my, how can I resist an abortion? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Mama Mia, here I go again. My, my, how can I resist the glass ceiling? What? (laughs) Sorry, the way I've read this reads out to me is hilarious. Uh, Mama Mia, here I go again. My, my, how can I resist J.D. Power and his associates? <laughs> I don't know why, but J.D. Power and his associates wins because of the way it reads out to me. Damn it. Jacob wins. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Jacob gets the first point. Now, I, I want your guys' reasonings now. 
First starting with Jacobs at C1. The reason why I chose... No, oh. I want him first. Oh. It kind of made sense. Just and not only that, it was funny. Uh, I'll give you one point for that. And now you get your point, Emma. You like dead baby things. Dead baby jokes. I know you, so that's why I thought you would pick that one. Well, it's sticking right with the dark humor, so I'll give you an additional point. <laughs> So, I know you. I know what you're all about. Yeah, so I, I, I'll put these cards in the garbage pile. So, it starts with the next round. O McDonald had a blank. E-I-E-I-O. Pause this. I, I, hold on. The soap is upset. The soap's upset? Oh, there it goes. Okay. All Technical right. difficulties. Yeah, sorry. We had to go deal with B parents for a brief moment. Anyway, here's the next round. She didn't want her cookies on her bed. She wanted panda cookies instead of Oreos. Anyway. Never mind, she's still upset. Well, I'm going to have to ignore it because she's still going to keep doing that. I can't help her here. I wish she wasn't doing that. Guys, don't assume we're being bad parents. It's mostly because she's going through this weird phase that we don't understand yet. And we're also in the process of uh, getting her tested. tested for autism. Yeah. She's showing a lot of the same characteristics as my brother. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway. Next round. This is round two. So. Old McDonald had a blank. E I E I O. I put in the rando, card no, card, rando Cardesian, whatever he's called these days. Let me see that card. Can you guys hear my chewing? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shuffle these. So, I'm gonna guess the word you just put a throw away. Mm. Judging by your face, that is yes. Mm. Is that? I think it's a bottle. Is that from your room? Yeah. Or is that Sophie? It's Lily. She it's fucking likes to chew on shit like that. Okay, that was weird. That was weird. All right. Here we go. Old McDonald had an octopus giving seven hand jobs and, a, and smoking a cigarette. <laughs> e I E I O. <laughs> that one was funny. Old McDonald had my balls on your face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this last one. Old McDonald had mouth herpes. E I E I O. <laughs> I'm gonna go with my balls on your face. No. 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 no fucking random <laughs> one. I was a uh, right. mouth herpes. You were mouth herpes, and I'm guessing yours was a throwaway? Yeah. Somehow that made sense, though, so unfortunately, no because it was a throwaway, I can't give you any additional points. I was the Sorry. octopus giving some... <laughs> now, what was your reasoning behind that? Well, one, you know, I'm always, you know, into those kind of jokes. <laughs> Two, I know you're into that kind of joke, and it kind of just went with it. And it's an aminol, it fits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm going to give you two points. And don't fucking throw them like that. Yeah, I caught him. Touch down. Anyway. All right. Let's go with the next card. Fuck off, Raiders. <laughs> Context, guys. We bought him a Raiders dog leash. And he doesn't like the Raiders. Yeah, because he's been, like, saying that he needed a dog leash. He can't find it, and it's been pissing him off. So, so I found him one at the 99-cent store because we went there because I wanted to buy boba tea because I had boba tea there. <laughs> I saw that. I was like, I'm going to be a dick. I'm going to buy this. All right. Was there other leashes? I just, hey, okay. There was, but the other one was for a basketball game. Lakers? Hey, you guys ready? Better than fucking Raiders. All right. <laughs> Check me out, yo. I call this dance move blank. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Shuffle these up. Let's see what I can do. Mine's something I say a lot, so that's my reason. Imagine? No. Something else. 
Check me out, yo. I call this dance move NFTs. <laughs> what? You don't know what an NFT is? I know what an NFT is. Oh my god. I know I know who, who, who this one belongs to. Check me out, <laughs> yo. I call this dance move your mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this, one, this one made me laugh more. <laughs> Check me out, yo. I call this dance move my neck, my back, my pussy, and my crush. <laughs> I'm guessing this is you, Aurora. <laughs> yeah. And because I pick you. Woo. God, yeah. that is funny as fuck. Yeah, that one's mine. All right, Jacob. Uh, let's turn over Aurora. What, this one. what was your reason behind my neck, my back? Because my neck, my back. <laughs> <laughs> that's it that song just kept playing in my head and how we always like you'll always burst out randomly in the house fucking singing that song <laughs> or in the car and it's weird and anyway, it's just funny it anyway, worked I'll give you two points for that <laughs> alright Jacob and what was your reasoning behind your mom well that's because something I owe I... <laughs> cause your mom <laughs> I would give Jacob more points if he had said that. <laughs> <laughs> give him more points. He was going to say it anyway. Okay. Well, one time, well, first of all, I say that a lot and you know it. Uh, just like your mom. Anyway. <laughs> I give you two points, Jacob. <laughs> all right. Next round. <laughs> all right. Holy shit. My video of blank has 10 million views. Kind of a kind of meta with this one, isn't it? Let me see. Holy shit! My video of blank has ten million ten million views. I can't wait to see what mine's this is. dumb. All right, mine's dumb. Kind of in the porn industry, but all right. Let's see here. All right. Oh no. <laughs> Holy shit, my video of my fat daughter has 10 million views. <laughs> Amberlyn Reed? <laughs> no. <laughs> no way, uh, Raven Queen. My fat daughter. No, it's more like my dad's reaction to me. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit, my video of a sad hand job has 10 million views. <laughs> Depressed only fans. <laughs> Uh, How the fuck you're depressed and you still manage to masturbate? That don't make no sense. A sad hand job is getting something for somebody else. Is getting it for somebody else. That's a hand job. So somebody else is jerking. Let's you say off. no. I'm not gonna say no. But can y'all too? You know. Mm-hmm. But can't a hand job from does masturbating for men? That's technically still a hand job, though, right? If they no, use it's your just hand. masturbating if it's yourself. But if somebody else is doing it for you, it's a hand job. But you're using let's your just hand. Say, let's just say you're, you're doing this to him. That's a hand job. I still am a firm believer that single individuals can do that to themselves. <laughs> and you can't change my mind. Alright, last one. This one's kind of stupid. Holy shit, my video of a fuck ton of almonds has 10 million views. A <laughs> fuck ton of almonds. Now, I'm going to go with my fat daughter. I'm assuming that's you That was me. (laughs) I pictured my dad reading the card. That's my reasoning. (laughs) I'll give you three points. (laughs) My dad would be a dick and say something like that. And Jacob, I'm assuming you put a sad hand job. Yeah. Based on your comment earlier. Oh, yeah. Kill that card. All right, and what was your reasoning behind the sad hand job? I have no reasoning at all. Okay, no points then. <laughs> all right. All right. Bubba's really crying. I can't do anything. She's just going to keep crying, and she won't tell us her reasoning. Pause it again. We have to go help her, Derek. All right. Ah, oh, um, damn it. It's still recording. Why does she only want us to hand her the food? I don't know. That's weird. It's bizarre, but maybe it's an autistic thing. I don't know. It's weird. Well, it is weird. If anyone who's out there who's also autistic, I know some of our friends are too, she's doing this weird thing where she constantly just wants to hide her face and stay in one spot. This spot just so happens to be her bed. And we don't know why. She doesn't want to leave her room. And she's acting like she's scared of something in the house, but there's nothing in the house. 
to be scared and of. nothing wrong. Well, right now, and it won't. And uh, she just keeps covering her face and crying, and like she doesn't want any lights or anything like that. And right now, she's doing this weird thing where she just wants to be handed like her food. Yeah, and but also she's only active at night. Yeah, she at nighttime she goes back to being her normal self. And goes and runs around and plays and stuff. And it's very confusing. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> we should probably continue where we left off. And the doctor said it, it, it's most likely autism. Speaking of which, you still need a call to get the... Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, I should be doing What is it? Week. Psychologist? Neurologist. Neurologist appointment. She's right. got to go get her brain scanned. All right. Here's, here's the next one. Uh, this one's kind of makes sense because in modern day topics right now. Mm-hmm. Brought to you by Bud Light, the official beer of blank. Nobody no. Molding. <laughs> this kind of dates this video, so. This one. Oh my god. The no. card I just pulled right now. I mm. can't say anything yet. No, I probably don't know funny. anything, so. Mine might work. Uh, All right. Brought to you by Bud Light, the official beer of fading away into nothingness. God, that's not <laughs> depressing. Brought to you by Bud Light, the official beer of bitches. Bitches! <laughs> Brought to you by Bud Light, the official beer of getting naked and watching Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> I think they just spoke to a lot of millennials. <laughs> I'm gonna go with bitches. Not mine. Not mine. Fucking hell, it's random. Mine was getting naked and watching Nickelodeon. Mine was fading away to nothing. Ugh, hydration. Although it's just so. <laughs> yeah, it's dehydration right there. Don't we need to explain our reasonings? Oh yeah, fuck, I almost forgot. So I guess, okay, what was your card and what was your Hold reason? Hold on, I need a minute to pull up my reason. Jacob, you tell him your reason. Okay, so my reasoning was... We're, we're, we're before you uh, say your thing, make sure it's not copyrighted. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Is it music? Yeah. Then you can't play it. <laughs> Let's see. Shut up. His music, you can't play it. Oh my god, YouTube and YouTube music keep crashing like all day. I don't know why. Anyway, I was gonna do that to me too. It was Nickelodeon Girls or Nickelodeon Chicks by Filthy Frank. Oh my god. That's why. That was my reason. Alright, I'll give you a point for that. My my reasoning was uh, you're drinking, so you're fading away into nothing and not only that it's depressing and that's what we all go through and you're that depressed <laughs> that you're drinking Bud Light of all drinks to you, drink you might Bud as well Light? just honestly just might you just don't like it <laughs> go home then what well, that's what it stands for <laughs> B-U-D L I. <laughs> alright here we go initial point alright let's start with the next card if you can't be with the one you love love blank if you can't be with the one you love, love blank. I'm not putting that. That's just fucking pedophilia right there. My, that would make it better. Mine works. Oh my god! Don't say Fine. that on the internet, you weirdo. Fine. I'll it, do it'd it. be funnier. Okay, it'd be funnier. Someone's gonna take that out of context. Probably. I don't give a shit. Why are these cards so fucking good? <laughs> Tight. These cards are so fucking funny. Right, right, right. This game is quote unquote a party game for horrible people. Remember that? It's hilarious. All of the cards I keep pulling, like I just want to read out my deck right now. Because they're all so fucking funny. Here's this. How, uh, at the end of the game, we can read off our lasting cards. Yeah. All right. Oh my god. If you can't be with the one you love, love preteens. Oh no. That sounds like that one dude who just got busted for like liking chicks. Or little girls. Who was he? Drake Bell? He went missing. Drake Bell? Yeah, the guy who from Drake and Josh. I didn't know he was going to that. Yeah! 
There was a trial and everything. You didn't know that? No. And then he recently went missing from his house arrest and he was found near like a, a middle school or something. Oh. Or a high school. Oh, no. Okay. If you can't be with the one you love, love cyanide. <laughs> you, okay. There's a lot of depressing cards in here. I like it. This, Speaks to me. Oh God, this might uh, this might uh, uh, piss off some boomers. Um, if you can't be with the one you love, love the milkman. <laughs> <laughs> Jake got fucked up in that one. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the milkman. That was mine. <laughs> All right, Jay. I'm assuming you were preteen. Yeah. I want to hear your reasoning first. Mine? Yeah. Well, one, I didn't want to at first. Um. Then you kind of convinced me. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny. In front of an awesome conversation that I didn't know about Drake Bell. Mm. <laughs> Well, here's this. I'm going to give you two points for that. <laughs> All right. Well, what was your reasoning behind the milkman? Lonely 1950s housewives. You know what's weird, though? We were trying to make our house into a 50s-style home. <laughs> I'm not a lonely housewife anymore. Now it's you who's the house spouse. Well, I need a milkman now. Apparently. <laughs> well, you are bi bisexual, so that goes <laughs> We need to get you a milkman. I'll give you two points. That, that. sounds different. If it's a gay relationship, we're going to get you a milkman. <laughs> All right. I no, you know, milkman still actually exists. There's only one milkman left and he retired. No, no, no. There's still milkman. No, you can still, like, order milk to be delivered to your door. It's like fancy milk and shit. Sure. Oh. Well, anyway. Oh, boy. This is a long one. Uh, Ew, really? Mr. and Mrs. Diaz, we've called you here because we're concerned about Cynthia... Are you aware that your daughter is blank? This is some. This is a, a can't box of worms to open, or a can of worms. I don't know what the fuck phrase is. What is this dark card? What the fuck? Okay, there is a rule, Roy. You can discuss a card, or but you have to put it back in the deck. No, I'm saving that for later. Mm. All right. Now. Let's see what Miss Cynthia got in trouble with. All right. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Diaz, we've called you called you in because we're concerned about Cynthia. Are you aware your daughter is puppies? That's exactly what? how it's written. Well then. All right. What the fuck? Are you aware that your daughter is a Japanese tourist who wants something very badly but cannot communicate it? <laughs> oh, no. What's with this fucking paragraph? Oh, no. <laughs> Read the next card. Oh, no. Read the next card. Giggling like an anime <laughs> girl. <laughs> Who pulled the other Japanese card? <laughs> I pulled one of them. Because of both of these, other. I don't know which to pick. <laughs> I knew puppies had to be real. <laughs> Japanese and anime. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. How the fuck did we manage that one? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, this God. got anti somatic real fucking quick. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't know why I'm gonna go with the Japanese tourist yeah because because uh what because I'm trying to imagine a little girl trying to speak Japanese to a teacher like how she really wants a cookie or something the reason why I chose Japanese scroll girl is like those weird ass weebs yeah who, like, will do that shit during class, like some of the friends that we used to have in high uh -huh. school, and now I know that's cringy. Uh, <laughs> Fuck, I used to be that way. What am I talking about? Oh. For uh, reminiscing, thinking about our past, two points. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry about that. Jim, Jim! Now, Jacob, what was your reasoning behind the Japanese tourist? 
It was just funny in my head. I don't think there is a reasoning. Yeah, I'll, I, uh, I'll just give you one point. It's hard to tell with that one. Me and him were on the same brain wavelength. That's what was up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next card. Arby's. We have blank. God. You did so <laughs> fast with that. I didn't even have time to get random. <laughs> if you guys want me, I just threw down the card real quickly and I hope it wins so bad. You do know that means you won't get any more additional points for just throwing away. It wasn't a throwaway. It wasn't a throwaway. Let me make that clear right now. It was not a throwaway. <laughs> Arby's, we have fake tits. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Arby's, we have gay conversion therapy. Oh no. <laughs> what, read it. Arby's, we have the body of Nagasaki. <laughs> they were all so good. <laughs> They were all good. Oh god. Oh god, I'm actually crying. <laughs> <laughs> Nagasaki. That no, was me. <laughs> I'm keeping up with the names of the Japanese people, apparently. <laughs> down before you get in there. Oh, God. I better get extra points. Oh, God. Ooh. Okay, now reasoning. Oh, God. Uh, I was fake tits, so... I assumed. Um, <laughs> uh, but, roar first because of the Nagasaki. Because I knew how hard you were going to laugh once when I pulled out that bitch. I'll give you one point. I told you that was not a throwaway. <laughs> that was correct. Your reasoning, Jacob. See, I'm in a tits, okay? And... <laughs> I don't know about fake tits, but, but yeah, I'm just kidding. Somehow I feel like you didn't really have a reason. No. No. Okay. I'm just not going to give points this time. <laughs> All right. God. Oh, should I read the damn card? I'm an idiot. Hold on. Let me redo this. All right. Your dreams are one click away. Learn more at blank.com. <laughs> you know what? Okay, it's not as funny as my last card, but it's pretty funny in you my know, head. You know, I kind of yeah. want to include my mili my uh, my disgruntled dex card. We don't understand military shit like you do. <laughs> we don't understand it like you. Uh, guys, context. Only you get it. Context, disgruntled dex is basically like cards and humanity, but all military shit. Yeah. All right. Swampass.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ew. Really? CardsAgainstHumanity.com <laughs> That one got meta and hilarious. <laughs> JudgingEveryone.com <laughs> Okay, put that one down. Huh? Put Judging Everyone. No. No, no one? No. So, one of you is Cards Against Humanity, Me. and the other one is Swamp Ass. You shouldn't have said that. Why? Because I was supposed to pick, pick randomly, remember? So... Honestly, I want to know who's dreaming about getting swamp ass. Probably you. That's why I picked it. <laughs> I do not dream of having swamp ass. I hate swamp ass. <laughs> but I'm picking it because I'm trying to imagine someone who is enjoying that. So I guess you get the card. Dreams can be nightmares, though. Ugh. Not that kind of dream. Not like <sighs> dreaming as a... Like, I want this kind of thing. <laughs> All right. I need reasonings now. I've been dreaming. Well, of a wait, you gave. <laughs> you actually gave Just me your reason like already. The one we used to have during summer instead of this fucking winter. 
and I, but, I, I guess you already gave me your reasoning behind Swamp Ass, so I'm going to give you a point. Not only that, but the White Christmas remix, it was kind of lit just now. <laughs> <laughs> and what is your reasoning behind uh, Cars Against Humanity? Well, there you go. They're playing it. It's meta. They were playing it, and it goes... There. It's meta <laughs> as fuck. Yeah. Points. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to play the next card. I'm LeBron James. When I'm not slamming dunks, I'm a <laughs> blank. Why do you think... <laughs> I knew what to play. I swear it has something to do with pedophilia. I swear to God. No, but it's going to piss off people in this room. (laughs) Why do I keep pulling really fucking good cards? This is so fucked up. This card is so fucked up. Oh, no. Why do I also keep pulling the racist cards? That's all I'm going to say. (laughs) <laughs> Racism It's fun God damn it uh, Is that better than me saying incest A game the whole family can play Stop it, read the cards Alright I'm LeBron James When I'm not slamming dunks, I love police brutality God fucking damn it <laughs> Speaking of racism <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright uh, uh, I'm LeBron James. When I'm not slamming dunks, I love a cis man playing a trans woman. Jessica and Eve? Um, this one is just so fucking straightforward. I, I'm LeBron James. And, and when I'm not slamming dunks, I love men. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go with police brutality. (laughs) Fuck! (laughs) I guess you were men. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, God. Okay, reasons. All right, so my reason is because you know how police brutality is. They like to do uh, accuse blacks or whatever. That's the whole theory. And LeBron James is black. I'm going to give you two points for that. Nice. (laughs) Good explanation. Yours, Aurora. We love a good old-fashioned gay joke. <laughs> men, 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 men. I'm going to give you one point for that. Okay. All right. Uh. All right. <clears throat> one star out of five. Do not go here. Found blank in the fettuccine Alfredo. I'm not joking, by the Ew. way. There is a fucking star Ew. rating on this card. What the fuck? There is a star rating. Just like card. their other card game, the uh, yeah. overrated. Yeah, we have a bunch of card games. You guys yeah, know. we we have other ones we could play too. Yeah, in Not future po- in future podcast. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot the random. Hey, that your worst nightmare game would actually be good for this whole conversation. Yeah, yeah it would be. Uh, whoever I guess whoever gets to be the be the. Uh, the host next round just could probably try that. If you guys don't know, we kind of collect weird card games, and we sit down and have family nights. Yeah, and uh, to be frank, we're we're not the only ones who do that. <laughs> huh? We're not the only ones who do that, so it's not very weird. So but it's weird card games. Normally, families choose normal games. Oh well, this sounds like a good time. Um, Jacob, stop shaking. One star out of five. Do not go here. Found Adderall in the fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, what? Do not go here. Or found consensual sex in the fettuccine Alfredo. Ew! What the fuck? This last one's even weirder. Uh, do not go here. Found the Amish in the fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> that all sounds wrong. I'm stuck between the I'm Amish. I'm stuck between eating eating the Amish or <laughs> somehow eating the concept of consensual sex. Yeah. I'm gonna go with cannibalism here. With con- the Amish. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. This is one messed up game, and I love it. Oh uh, God. <clears throat> so, how many points are we up on you guys on the cards? E- Four. Seven, and then we're done with this game. Uh, I was thinking more like 10 maybe, if not... Uh, I still got to get to bed. I got to go back to work tomorrow. Uh, well, what's the We're point? We're going to do seven. What are you at? Five. Oh, okay. Seven I'm is at four. Seven's fine. All right. 
So my reasoning is for the cannibalism because cannibalism and it's in an eating place, and I kind of honestly, Jay, I'll be honest, it just kind of reminds me of Sweeney Todd. But I'm gonna give you a point. All right, well, what was your the card? I your, chose Adderall because that's probably what we all need to put in our fettuccine alfredo. <laughs> All right, I, I love that reasoning. I'll give you two points. Uh, all right. Why are all of my cards fucking disturbing? I don't shit? know, but I'm loving it. Uh, I'm getting by, A, with a little help from blank. I'm going to put down Rando. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. I swear if Hitler is involved in this. No. Well. We'll see. <laughs> I somehow, I somehow suspected Hitler would be involved. Hitler is always joked about. Springtime for Hitler and Germany. <laughs> that is an actual musical. Oh my god. I'm getting by with a little help from breaking out into song and dance. Wait, what? Okay. I'm getting by with a little help from breaking out into song and dance. Sorry, my brain was still stuck on Hitler, so I just thought of Hitler doing song and dance, which fell back into that musical. <laughs> oh, God. I'm getting by with a little help from the gays. I'm okay. getting by from... <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm getting... <laughs> getting suspense music in the background. <laughs> I don't know if they can hear that or not. <laughs> I'm getting by with a little help from calling the p cops on an innocent black man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with that one. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. I keep playing the fucked up ones. My reasoning. I know they're going to make you laugh. Really hard. Even the police, though they're very fucked up. I guess the police brutality is... Uh... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's probably LeBron James, let's be honest. God fucking damn it. <laughs> I'm going to give you two points. Okay. Now, what's your card and what was your reasoning, Jake? Uh, my card was, what was it? Five. LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James. LeBron James. The gays. Mine was the gays. You kind of just went with a sentence, honestly. You know, I'm it getting did. by from the gays. All right. I'm just going to give you a point. All right. All right. Next card. Aurora could win this if she wins this. She could really win. Today, on Mori, help, my son is blank. I need a drop. I'm kind of curious what fucked up card you're going to play, Aurora. Uh, good one. It's bad, but it's good for you. <laughs> I mean, no. You're going to find it funny. That's what I mean. <laughs> okay, context, Aurora. <laughs> yes, context is key. He's going to find it funny because he's dark like that. Yeah, unfortunately, because I was in the army, my read, humor read is darker, the again. darker than. Um, so I make sure I get this right. Come on, mm -hmm. read it again. Read the oh, card yeah. again. Today on Mori, help! My son is blank. So you know, guys, my humor is so dark the police are trying to shoot it. God damn! Stop with the police brutality stuff. This is the new. Th this is the theme. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, the theme. I have nothing. That's a throw in. Yeah. It might get you something. Mm -hmm. You know, I've only eaten like two of the Oreos and now I'm dead. I ate like five and now I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. We were not going to fuck up the Oreos, apparently. We're fucking up our stomachs is what we're doing. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I just don't want any more. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, yeah. sorry, choking on the dick. Oh, God. I still use. <laughs> Say, I'm Maury. Help, my son is getting fingered. <laughs> God. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Now he's definitely being eaten by the fucking couch. You good? That's why you laugh so hard you start sinking in the couch. <laughs> so, the way these two are, are written, I'm going to read it. I'm going to change how it's written so it makes sense. Okay. Today on Maury, help, my son is a sperm whale. What? That just sounds like you took too much weed and your son turned into a whale. <laughs> this one's not any better. Today, today on Maury, help, my son is a goat. 
<laughs> that could also be like if you think about it as military terms. I'm gonna go with getting fingered. That was my. <laughs> I guess Aurora wins the game. All right, let's count out all the points, including bonus points. <clears throat> wait, these count as card points? Oh, wait, before we do that, let, let's read off our other cards. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, I'll give additional points based on some later events for, you know, last-minute points. So, don't worry. <clears throat> okay, who's going first? I'll go. Balls. <laughs> the, the opioid <laughs> epidemic. The screams, the terrible screams. A balanced <clears throat> breakfast. Side boom. Exactly what you'd expect. <laughs> Darth Vader. Gogurt. Vigorous jazz hands and cybernetic enhancements. The Chinese gymnastic team. <laughs> Why was that funny? A bitch slap. <laughs> My ugly face and bad personality. <laughs> <laughs> Critical race theory. <laughs> what is with all the races? <laughs> Why are these cards so fucking racist? Chainsaw no, man. No, the theme of this. Chainsaw man? No, chainsaw is for hands. Chainsaw man. Chainsaw! Why is this game so fucking racist this time? A brain this tumor. generation is so racist. A brain tumor. <laughs> this is woman in yogurt commercials. Woman in what yogurt commercial? <laughs> All right, Jay, read your last card. My Uber driver, Pavel. I guess that's a name, but okay. Pavel? 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 I've never heard that name before. Pebble. Pebble. All right. All right. Pebble. All right, so you guys got any uh, last-minute notes here before we start counting points? No. I don't feel good. <laughs> And I want to go the fuck to bed. All right, count your points out. Four, five. Why am I counting this? I know there's seven there. I don't feel like we won this one. Won this one so I got 18 points in total. 18, 16, 18. So 18 plus seven. You have over like 20 something. points. Yeah. I, why? I, you know what's weird? I never usually win cards against humanity games. Ever. It's usually you two who always win them. Yeah, and you seem to manage to win one on the podcast. Yeah, how'd I do that? Why can't I win them normally? Now, usually the only game I'm good now, at is Exploding Kittens, and so that's it. For t- so I guess the winner of this podcast is Aurora. Woo! We're doing Stitch and Bitch next week. <laughs> okay. So, Aurora, do you have a winner's speech? I'm joking. Next week, let's actually do ne- the worst nightmare. All right. Do you have a winner's speech, Aurora? I don't feel good, and I'm going to go take a hot bath. Jacob, you got a loser speech? <laughs> go fuck yourself, Aurora. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's a good game. Um, better luck next time. You know? Yeah, maybe you'll be the host next time. It'll maybe you'll get all the racist cards. But this win. time, Jacob, you're facing against me. So. Oh, fuck! That means I got to read next time? I didn't sign up for that. You won to be the host. That's the rules. Damn it. I suck at reading. You know I can't read. I'm illiterate. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Aurora's illiterate. <laughs> they already knew. Trust me. They already knew. Well, Aurora likes horse cock and is illiterate. <laughs> Context. In a D&D recording, Aurora stated, in quote, uh, I yes. want the horse cock. <laughs> Just like the dumb hick I was. <laughs> They know that on the last podcast of the D and D or the me... question, yeah, thing. It was more of like a okay, but I was drunk. <laughs> to be fair, I don't recall exactly all I said. I think at that time we were both drunk because I was all right. drinking. Yeah, too. we yeah. were both drinking. Yeah. So anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next week. See so, ya. Yeah. Podcast up.